How's it going? I'm Andrew Goldfarb. This is Colin Moriarty. Yeah. Um, we're here today to talk about Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, today Ubisoft revealed the box art for the game. And um, there's some interesting stuff going on with this. We just want to talk a little bit about the, the history that we can pull out of this image, as well as what it means for Assassin's Creed specifically. So, to dive right in. Um, so, we know that Assassin's Creed Revelations finished the story of Altair and uh, Ezio. So, this guy is some new descendant of Desmond. So there's a lot of Native American influences in this. Um, typically, Ezio and Altair, their hood was just a, a triangle that came down. And here we have this like bird that seems pretty derivative of Native American imagery. Um, in the box art, we can see this diamond beadwork on his arm uh, right here. And then back to this image, we have the diamonds on his pants, um, which seem very Native American inspired. Um, more importantly, he has a tomahawk. Um, he has a bow and arrow with feathers on it. I mean, it's like very clearly like Native American weaponry. Um, you know, a, a big departure from like the, the finger blades and the knives and the swords that we usually see in Assassin's Creed. Um, and then it's worth noting that uh, the, his belt buckle and the tomahawk itself and the clasp on his armband here are the Assassin's Creed logo. So like this guy clearly is connected to Desmond. Like something's going on here where very likely you'll enter the Animus and play as this character. Um, who appears to be in the American Revolution, which is what Colin Moriarty will discuss today. Yes. Um, so as many know, the only thing I love more than video games is American history. Um, and the American Revolution is probably my favorite time period. So when I saw uh, this cover, I got excited. I'm not an Assassin's Creed fan, but um, now I'm excited about Assassin's Creed for really the first time. So there's a lot of uh, history we can actually draw out of this and, and start to kind of figure out precisely when in the Revolution this takes place. Um, the American Revolution was fought from 1775 to 1781 and effectively ended in 1783 with the Peace Treaty. Um, so um, the flag is actually the thing that gives away first. And if you actually we maybe use the Game Informer cover because um, it's, it's a higher res, you see the flag that the Stars and Stripes. This is basically the first time you see Stars and Stripes in American history. But the Stars and Stripes weren't available at the beginning of the American Revolution in 1775. In fact, the very first flag is Don't Tread on Me, which many people, especially that follow politics today, know. Um, Don't Tread on Me was the very first flag we flew um, in the Massachusetts campaign um, in New England fighting the British, getting our asses beat. Um, but in 1776, the Continental Congress asked for um, a new flag. And as you can see, it had a Union Jack in it, um, indicating that we were kind of still hoping for a resolution. And we didn't actually split from the British um, until about a year and a half into the Revolution. So um, we know that it didn't take place in 1775 or 1776. Um, in 1777, in June to be precise, the Continental Congress asked uh, for parameters of a new flag um, that gave us these two flags. Um, and the one, of course, that we see in, in, in the, the imagery from Assassin's Creed 3 is uh, this flag. So if we, look, if we look at it again, you can see they're the same flag. Therefore, if uh, Ubisoft is, is following uh, American history precisely, this can take place anytime before June of 1777. But there are more uh, clues if we, if we look. Um, this is the back cover of Game Informer. Yeah, this is the back cover of Game Informer. Now, this is an interesting one. Um, we have this guy who kind of looks like George Washington riding a horse in front of a bunch of soldiers. Um, we kind of know he's an officer by the, you know his, his dress, especially the cockade on his hat, which is hard to see here. Um, but the cockade uh, indicates that he's an officer, and actually George Washington was the one that specified that cockades would indicate a ranking officer. Um, and it looks like maybe he's going to Valley Forge, 1777. Uh, the, the revolutionaries are licking their wounds after kind of getting beaten um, in the New England and New York campaigns. So that's possible. That's there and kind of places this in the middle of the revolution as well. But if we go back to this image um, here, uh, the box art on PlayStation 3, um, we see some other interesting things too. Um, first of all, um, this character who we don't know yet is, is killing uh, a redcoat, um, a British soldier. This is unusual because most of the Native Americans, most of the Indian tribes actually sided with the British because the British um, uh, promised them that they would be protected um, from American expansionism, uh, quite ironically. Um, and uh, the other thing that's interesting here is that you can see the Continentals are actually um, well-dressed. The British were always well-dressed. Um, they were a professional army, they were regulars, they had fought before, a lot of these guys were veterans coming over to America. Um, our guys were farmers and, and inexperienced soldiers, some of them had experience in the French and Indian War uh, several decades earlier, but not most of them. Um, and they weren't properly dressed like this, until, usually until the French got involved in the war in 1778 when we started to kind of become a professional army. So this basically indicates that uh, this takes place during the middle of the revolution. Um, so, you know, if Ubisoft is following proper American history, we know that this is probably 1777, 1778. One other very interesting thing, there's a banner from Game Informer's site that we have here. Um, 
that pretty clearly shows George Washington. Like I, that character definitely seems to be George Washington. Indeed, if you if you look at the painting, in fact, of uh, George Washington crossing the Delaware to kill the Hessians on Christmas of 1776, this is famous basically painting. very famous painting from the. Oh, it's not from the Revolution; it was painted afterwards. But uh, then you'll know that that is a pretty familiar uh, site, and therefore I, I would assume George Washington is indeed in the game, which is awesome. So during the you know the the colonies the thirteen colonies uh, during the American Revolution uh, were sparsely populated. Um, there wasn't many people here, and obviously there were only a few major cities: Charleston, Philadelphia, Boston, etc., New York. Um, but uh, you know Assassin's Creed is known for its city setting, its, its verticality, and it seems like if it's going to take place uh, in the Americas during the Revolution, that uh, we're going to have a different sort of setting, a more wide open setting. Uh, perhaps we'll get our verticality from uh, the heavily wooded areas of of uh, the colonies. Uh, as the old saying goes, the colonies were, and, and the Americas were so heavily wooded, you can go from the Atlantic to the Pacific without ever touching the ground. So perhaps we'll, uh, perhaps we'll see more of that as well. So yeah, Assassin's Creed will be out on October 30th, and for all the information, stick to IGN.com.